Are we ready? You're listening to Hollywood on Motorcycle Madhouse on iTunes. What's up, all everyone? Major platforms. That's Hollywood from Glow Wrestling. You're right listening there. to only the best internet radio station we all know this. in the world. I don't world. have to tell you this. No, the universe. <laughs> Evil man. You stupid, ignorant son of a bitch, dumb bastard. So angry. Sarcasm is anger, ugly cousin. From now on, unacceptable. Jack Nicholson, right there. Gentlemen, the king. Hail to the king, baby. Always, man. Welcome to this edition of Motorcycle Madhouse Insane Throttle Biker News. We are going to be covering the 15 facts about choppers that everybody needs to know about. Of course, from our apprentices over at wizard.com, if I have to say that. No, actually, it's hotcars.com. But they actually kind of got this one right today. Well, not all of it, but mostly. And we got two wall of shamers coming up for you. One is actually out of Australia. The other one with this case that just happened up in Minneapolis. This. Boy, people are upset and they should be. And then we got some news from Canada. So we're going to kind of spread out on the spectrum today. We're going to get us news from all over the world. And I'm going to try to do that uh, from now on on our broadcast. You know, highlight some stuff coming from the United States and then highlight for our international listeners Australia, uh, Europe. Uh, Canada, the whole nine yards, because I got listeners all over the place, and they, you know what, they get a cut, they get butt hurt, you know, when I don't cover some stuff for them. So I'm gonna cover it for them. Also, update on losing the damn motorcycle key. I lucked out. It's only $33 for a set. So that was awesome. I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I'm going to call the Harley Davidson dealer. They're going to charge me up the wazoo and talk to the guy. Oh, no, no, no. It's um, $33. Just got to show your VIN and proof of ownership and all that good stuff. I said, okay, well, you know, Harley has the note on the deal. So, you know, can a registration or something happen? And they were cool about it. So. I got to give him a shout out, man. Great deal, man. Great deal at, uh, I believe it's Cagle Harley-Davidson in Rockford. So, but I'll let you know how the experience goes, you know, when I actually go pick it up and all that good stuff. I guess it takes about a week to get done. But we got a lot of news today, so I want to get into this and get moving and get this show on the road instead of me talking. Okay, here we go from HotCars.com. Now, they usually screw everything up when it comes to the club stuff. I think they do it just for clicks. But now they got a motorcycle section, I guess, on HotCars.com. I guess you guys are getting a lot of clicks. so You're putting out a lot of stuff. But this article I actually kind of liked. It was 15 facts about choppers that will make you want one badly. This by Mr. Wizard's apprentice, James Jacobs. You know, if you're over on freaking uh, iTunes, Spotify, all that good stuff, don't forget to hit rock on, pound rock on, by the way. But, you know, you always get a freaking picture from Easy Riders Magazine. Uh, Among everything else that talks about choppers, that's the first thing that comes to mind, I guess, to people. Those who take the plunge into motorcycling for the first time will be inundated with options for various bikes. Personally, get one that fits you, man. Choose on your personality but more importantly choose one that you can handle if you're just starting out on a freaking motorcycle don't run out there and get a chopper with a six foot freaking uh springer front end okay get used to a damn bike before you get into other stuff uh there are categories for every type of rider the relaxed the speed freak and everything in between one section of that in their view has been neglected of as of late are those of the classic chopper now there was the big chopper craze when all those shows were Aaron in the uh, beginning of uh, the 2000s, you know, with Paul Tuttle, you know, that freaking freak over at Orange County Choppers. Uh, then you had Indian Larry, which is the man, the king of choppers. Then you had Jesse James over at West Coast. Uh, they were true chopper builders over there, not OCC, if you ask me. That's my opinion. You might like it. Uh, the flashy sports bike and alluring top speed test are tempting for a lot of us, but do not forget the choppers. 
There are a lot of reasons to love them, especially, especially after you ride one for the first time. I'm taking it this guy's never rode one. That's just me, man. You know, they got to say something to make it good. Uh, in fact, we've come up with a list of 15 interesting facts about chapters that make you will want one right now. Again, this is the freaking, uh, it's an article by people that probably never wrote any. So don't run out there and buy a damn chopper. Again, buy one that's right for you. Uh, 15, an iconic appearance. Yeah, that's where they got the movie Easy Riders, Jack Nicholson, and all that good stuff. Hopper, and uh, the other freak, Fonda. Yeah, I'm not too uh, happy with Fonda, you know, especially with some of the stuff he was saying. And uh, yeah, no. The first thing to note about choppers, as they claim, is their long-standing appearance throughout the decades. The chopper, like the Porsche 911, has undergone minor changes, yet the base still remains basically the same. Uh, they're talking about the 1970s ones. You know, the choppers that I liked in the 1970s era were actually the CB750s, man, with the Honda uh, engines. Those to me were iconic. Yeah, we got the pan head, uh, you got the shovels, but to me, I love the CB750 ones. Uh, I actually, uh, you know, one of the, I have a picture on the internet of one of mine that I had. Uh, it predates most cars, even though that ain't a chopper. See, this is where, you know, they really need to learn what the hell they're doing, man. When they write these articles, it's nothing more than a bobber right there. Uh, motorcycles have been around years before choppers. Yeah, duh. <laughs> you know, but you just said it predates most cars. Chopper bikes are still quite old. The first one was built in the 1940s, designated as the Bob Job era. With a history spanning over 74 years, that makes choppers older than a majority of cars. To me, a chopper, man, you got a, you know, a long front end, uh, or you got some good rake going on there. This right here is nothing more than a freaking bobber. Uh, now they're going to talk about bobbers versus choppers. Uh, as to uh, alluded to in the previous entry, the early form of choppers wasn't known as choppers rather than bobbers. Well, thank you, Mr. Wizard. Now bobbers aren't the exact same as your average chopper bike. You can tell they never rode. <laughs> Just by the way, they're writing the article, chopper bike, really? Bobbers are made by a pre-existing chassis, while choppers are more often than not an entirely new design. Because of this, bobbers are less expensive than the latter. Useful in a time of crisis. Again, this is not a chopper, hot cars. My God. Uh, since the chopper bobber phenomenon was born out of warfare. Actually, the modern biker was born out of that. It makes sense that they'd be useful in such uncertain scenarios. See, this is, you know, I really wish they would start doing research instead of going all over the net, copy and pasting, and then trying to do an article out of the deal. You know, at least try to make sense there, Mr. Wizard and your crew. At least try to make sense. More comfortable than anticipated. <laughs> Who the hell are you fooling, man? You got a hard tail with a six foot front end? Are you stupid? You feel every damn bump in the road and you think they're comfortable? My God. <laughs> Pop culture presence. Okay, to name all the films, TV shows, music videos, and other areas in which choppers have cameoed. We'd be here for ages. That's because choppers are incredibly beloved and well-known. Since they're so prominent, you can bet your bottom dollar that Hollywood, not this Hollywood, plaster them all over the place. For all income levels. Now let's talk about the income levels on this. You know, the old rat bike choppers, man. Uh, yeah, they were for the working man. These choppers that they're paying fifty, sixty thousand dollars from, yeah, no way. I'd have never bought one from OCC for a hundred thousand uh, dollars. You know, Indian Larry, maybe, man. If I had the dough, I'd go to him for one uh, when he was alive, when he would personally build one, or Jesse James, I would. But no way from OCC. And you know what? A lot of these freaking uh, choppers, like the baggers that go around now, you're putting forty thousand dollars worth of freaking money into these damn things. No way. Uh, 
it all starts with a Harley Davidson, and, and you know, it's a nice looking pan head right there. Uh, but again, it could range from freaking everything the 750s with the Hondas, Yamahas, they all make good ones. Uh, then, of course, you got Harleys, and you got a lot of old school Triumph choppers with the Bonnies on there, man. So the Bonnevilles were great for that. I actually raked my first one, Ape Hangers, the whole nine yards. Uh, easier to join a motorcycle crew, and that's where they're really ignorant. You don't need a damn chopper to freaking join a motorcycle club, man. You know, it don't make it any easier than somebody who has a bagger or a fat boy or a sporty to join a freaking motorcycle club. A bike's a bike, depending on what the club wants you to have, what make and all that good stuff. Uh, a chopper does not get you, <laughs> you know, any brownie points. Reliability. <laughs> who are you kidding, man? The old Ironheads, the old CB, all the CB750s were reliable. But when you were talking about shovels and pans and all that stuff, they weren't that reliable, man. And try to do an 800-mile haul in one day on a freaking uh, six-foot Springer front end. Uh, simplicity is the key. Now, with choppers, again, everything was stripped. It was stripped to the bare minimum. So, you know, they got something that, you know, going on with that statement. Too bad they don't have a real chopper pictured. If you're over on the radio, come over, check out some of the pictures in this article. Now, uh, where they say everyone knows about choppers, this chopper right here is probably $25,000, $30,000 when it was freaking popular. Now you can see these damn things all over the internet to buy for like eight, dollars $9,000, $10,000. Uh, but that's like an OCC looking freaking, and it is a freak looking bike. That's not a chopper in my eyes, you know. Personally, it's always going to be 1970s, 1980s when I talk about choppers. Uh, going for a classic, uh, a, char uh, a characteristic chopper that others don't is the ability to revert back, so to speak. What we're saying is that choppers, regardless as to whether they were made in 80 or 2020, can be made to look exactly like the originals. This is true out of West Coast or anybody who, you know, owns a, uh, uh, an independent shop. Uh, yeah, you got your modern upgrades and stuff, but if you got the 70s, look great. But like I said, that OCC crap that they, uh, you know, popularized, yeah, no. Now, extremely fast, uh, yeah, that statement, you know, it just depends what motor you got in there, what kind of motor work you got uh, going on with it. And then finally, if you can dream it, you can make it. Now, that's one statement that I actually agree with is if you want to make your own bike, you know, do your designs, put in the legwork, uh, do all the engineering and stuff like that, and you can come up with a bike if you're mechanically inclined. So, yeah, that's what, you know, I, I agree with that statement. But again, this is hotcars.com. Uh, their article about 15 facts about choppers. Personally, I think, uh, you know, the authors need to do a little more research before they put this type of stuff out. There's a bunch of other ones we'll cover later on in different segments and stuff. But at least they're trying to get with bikes now instead of motorcycle clubs because, God, do they fail when it comes to motorcycle clubs, man. You can always tell that they're freaking kids that come out of college writing these damn articles just by the way they talk and all that good stuff let's go over to oz and the oz wall of shame female prison officer allegedly had two prison lovers i i really don't think that would be a wall of shame right there man i know anybody locked up would love to get a hold of one of these but wait till you see what she looks like again over on radio get over here and check her out uh, Candace Sutton at uh, uh, news.com. Uh, a glamorous blonde officer. <laughs> you imagine that in a freaking joint. Uh, you know, we're watching a little bit right here. Uh, I'm not going to unmute. Well, go ahead. We'll uh, unmute it a little bit there. Basically, it's uh, gosh, is she hot? Anyway, uh, a glamorous blonde officer police officer accused of a sexual relationship behind bars has an association with a former inmate who bikey gang links may make it dangerous for her alleged prison boyfriend 
Melissa Goodwin, 25, she's only 25 years old, who is also a professional bodybuilder, allegedly had sexual encounters on five separate occasions with an inmate at the state's largest jail, the MRRC. Uh, yeah, there she is right there. Woo! You see them lips, man? Holy cow, would she do something good, man? Suck a golf ball through a garden holes right there. Hot body, man. Uh, Valerie, who's no longer an inmate, that I guess was uh, who she was messing with, is understood to have connections with outlaw motorcycle gang members who may have friendly have friends currently in the NSW prison system. Uh, temporary stood Miss Goodman down from her job to her employer CSNSW last month while they investigated the nature of the relationship between her and Valerie who appear in social media posts together. Yeah, she don't want to put everything on social media. There she is in her uh, little uniform. Uh, <laughs> man, she ain't that bad looking. She got a big old friggin' uh, I wonder if she had like Botox to them lips or something. But yeah, uh, she was arrested for uh, a failure to declare an association with an offender. Uh, so she got uh, locked up. But uh, you know what? She goes to a female prison. I think they're going to have fun with her, man. Those lips are just out of freaking sight. Next, we're going to go up to Canada. Here you guys go from Canada. Kevin Bissett, Atlantic.ctv News. Uh, parole board denies killer bikers request for move from correctional sander uh, the parole board of canada has denied a request from the former president of the saint john chapter of the bacchus motorcycle club to move out of a community correctional center despite his concerns about the covid19 matthew thomas foley is serving a 10-year sentence for manslaughter in the shooting death of michael shrimp in St. John in July 2012. Foley was released from prison last year on statutory release, but the parole board imposed a residency con decision or condition. You know, United States prisons suck, man, but it sounds like it's like, uh, you know, club fed everywhere else in the world the way they run their prisons. Uh, in a decision dated May 8th, the board says it is aware of Foley's concerns about being exposed to COVID-19, but measures have been taken within the center to limit contact among residents. The board says Foley has a lengthy cl uh, criminal record and his own decision to remain a member of the Bacchus club creates a myriad of high risk situations so that's your news up out of canada and let's get to this wall of shame right here man uh this one has uh, it's coming out of cbs minnesota and it is breaking as of this recording completely and utterly messed up video of fatal arrest shows minneapolis officer kneeling on george floyd's neck for several minutes one of the officers identified as Derek Chavern. Let's see what we have to hear here. South Minneapolis. And they're showing These a picture of the, are the riots right now, the for more marches. than an hour at the corner of Chicago and 38th. Emotions are strong across the community in response to the death All of All over George the United Floyd. States. A woman recorded the incident. We want to warn you, it is difficult to watch. Come over on uh, Spotify over here. How long I got to hold him down? Today, Minneapolis Police Chief Madera Arredondo fired four of the officers involved in the incident. The FBI will investigate whether the officers willfully deprived George Floyd of his rights. The BCA will investigate any possible violations of Minnesota laws. So far, we've confirmed the name of one of the officers involved. Attorney Tom Kelly says he is representing Officer Derek Chauvin. In the video, you can hear 46-year-old George Floyd saying he can't breathe. He was taken to the hospital where doctors pronounced him dead. My God. Uh, again, uh, the FBI's investigation is underway. Four officers have been fired following the fatal encounter. Uh, the, the guy's name is George Floyd. Uh, in a statement uh, from the cops, said Floyd had a medical incident during an attempted arrest. However, video of the encounter shows an officer with his knee on Floyd's neck for at least seven minutes before he loses consciousness. Uh, he told the officers he couldn't breathe. And if you come over and uh, 
off the radio, you can actually see the video and the cops just sitting there freaking, uh, you know, like he's nonchalantly, whatever, whatever. Then you got the other cop doing the same damn thing. But, you know, you could tell from the pressure to that knee to that neck that was messed up. I, you know what? I don't know if he even broke his neck with that much weight on it. But uh, I'll talk more about this in my final thoughts. As always, don't forget to visit us at HarleyLiberty.com for your daily biker news, as well as all our social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Don't forget to subscribe over on Spot or you no, know, well not on you can on Spotify if you want, but on YouTube and listen to the radio show and take us with you. Spotify, Stitcher, Apple Podcast, and more. So my final thoughts right here, you know, let's just get started straight to it with that officer and the guy you know god man you know i get so sick of seeing that kind of stuff there's real real profiling going out there in this country uh not only black but you're talking bikers the whole nine yards and that wall of shame i think uh deserves it for those four cops you know like we got the one name we'll get the other three but it is something where it's creating marches right now, uh, protests, and, you know, it's going to probably get pretty bad up there if these officers are not indicted by a grand jury because, you know what, that is the reason. Now, let's take it out like this. If you're on a bike, you get pulled over, get that damn camera out, man. Get your phone out. Start recording. Don't let the cop know you're recording. And get it all on tape even better is if you got the facebook uh, app or the youtube app make sure you hit live make sure you hit live and i'm going to tell you why because they're going to try to take your phone or something it'll be live there's storage on your account already so they can't wipe out that information uh or that video of whatever they're doing and you know to you so make sure you catch that man uh, a lot of people uh, as you've seen bystanders they're doing it now whenever the cops are freaking you know God knows they probably turned off their freaking body cams or whatever the hell they're using or if they even have any so it is cool that a bystander actually caught that on video and that's real important to do is get the video if you're a biker Make sure you get over to the Motorcycle Profiling Project, fill out that survey, and if it get, if it's worse, send a video over there and let them check it out, see if they want to get involved in something like that, If again, if you're a biker. But in this case, man, them cops, oh my God, there was no reason for them to even do that kind of stuff. And you're going to have a lot of people, well, he was being arrested, you know, he might have been out of control. Dude wasn't out of control on the ground. He's ca he sat there and told the cop, I can't breathe. And I, if you can't breathe, you don't live. And obviously, uh, he passed away at the hospital. But I, you know, it's kind of funny how they say, well, he had a medical uh, emergency. Well, I would wonder why. You got a cop's freaking knee on the back of his neck. Huh. Anyway, uh, on that, but uh, the beginning story, you know, my thoughts on that is some of the stuff that Cars.com does is great with the car world, but now they're venturing into motorcycles and motorcycle clubs for the clicks. You guys just, and if you guys, I know you're watching because I get some feedback uh, where you're crying and whining about how I cover the articles on you, but uh, you guys actually got to do some damn research for once. Do some research before you put this stuff on. You know, one example, well, choppers are comfortable. Like I said, you never rode a hardtail with a six-foot front end where you're feeling every damn bump in their mother on the road as you're driving, especially if you're driving an old-ass uh, chopper. You know, yeah, I know the new choppers, they got some, you know, the suspension. Uh, and that right there. A lot of the pictures you guys were showing were bobbers, not choppers. So you got them all screwed up. <laughs> but what do you guys think about that prison guard up in Oz, man? She was pretty damn hot. Go check her out. <laughs> she was hot or hot. Them lips, my God, would, uh, you know, the things that come to mind. And then uh, also your Canada news. Again, I'm going to try to keep on uh, doing... Uh, you know, covering different uh, parts and stuff, liven up the show a lot more. You know what I mean? But don't forget, 
get over there to those platforms, man, and pound rock on. I'll talk to you guys later. You stay safe. Watch out for them kegers because it's summertime. I say goodbye, vamoose, adios, ciao, so long, get your hat jack. Number one internet biker radio show is now available on Spotify and all major platforms including iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher, and more. Don't forget to become a subscriber on any one of these platforms so you can be notified right away when our weekly episode is uploaded so you never miss an episode. Hi, this is Jay Hollywood Machikari. Join our YouTube channel and get Motorcycle Madhouse and tons of videos related to the bikers. Join now by subscribing for free and become part of the crowd today. Always free and always entertaining. Don't forget to visit us at www.harleyliberty.com for your daily biker news. Rock on!